Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here. I hope you subscribe if you like the content. I make quite a few different types of videos. Some of them focus on doing um, book commentary and makeup at the same time. That's why I started this channel because I love to read and I love makeup. So I mesh the two together. But then my other videos are kind of just random and using makeup that I own and only purchasing some new things that they really are going to add to my collection. So I hope you like that type of makeup um, and videos. And if you do, I hope you subscribe. Um, and today, I thought for this Friday video, I'm dipping into the Blend Bunny All Done Up palette. Again, this is a couple months old now. I fully used the gray, green, and pinky brown row, but I haven't fully used the yellow row or this taupey row. So I thought I would use the yellow row today and add in my purple shimmers from the Pastel Roses UK. I made this purchase right before Black Friday. Um, so I have these two purples here. This is like a lilac-y purple with a gold shift. Not sure if you can see on the camera. And then this purple is a little bit deeper. Um, and it has all kinds of, it's one of their holo shades. So it has all kinds of different like glitter specks in it. There's like red, blue, pink, green, all kinds of colors in it. So I thought I would use those with the yellow because I always like um, mixing yellow and purple. I think it looks really pretty. So that's the look we're going to do today. I hope you guys enjoy and we will get started. I'll do the eye look on camera, go off and do my base and then come back and show the finished look. That's typically how I do these. So I thought I would kind of do a little bit of like a deeper look with these today. So I thought I would take doe-eyed, which is the darkest the deepest shade in this row it's like a kind of like a yellowy chocolatey brown and i'm going to i don't know why the oh dogs are barking <laughs> hold on one second <laughs> all right i'm back i'm watching my brother's dog and he is harder to get to stop barking than my dog <laughs> so i took a minute um okay so dipping into doe-eyed and i'm going to put this all over the lid and a little bit into the crease so we're going to just kind of pack this on. I already have an eye primer on. I use the um, Urban Decay. He's still barking. Someone is like blaring music outside too. I have no idea what's going on. Um, anyways. Oh my gosh. I will be back in a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. They're probably going to keep barking. For some reason, someone is like blaring music outside. You might even be able to hear it. I'm not totally sure what the deal is. Now there's another dog outside barking at this person. Oh well, it's just how it goes. Um, but yeah, I have eyeshadow primer on already. I list everything I use in the description box down below. Um, so if you're ever curious about my base makeup too, since I'm doing it off camera about what I used, that will be down there. So just kind of blending this really dark brown on the lid and a little bit into the crease and then we'll blend it out further um, with the mid-tone and lightest shade in this row. Um, but yeah, so we have that kind of packed on and I think I'll kind of leave it at that. The edges are blended a little bit but we're going to add a little bit more color to them so we'll leave it kind of at that. So we'll do the same in the other eye. Uh, uh, yeah, well at least they shut their music off, my goodness, I have no idea, I think it was like a deliver, someone delivering a package and they had their, to a neighbor, and they had their music just blaring loud, my dog and my brother's dog did not like that one bit, <laughs> oh goodness gracious, okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a good week and have some fun weekend plans coming up. We're just going to relax. I think we're going to watch some Christmas movies. I have certain Christmas movies that I watch every single year and we haven't watched any of them yet. And I don't know, I think, I think the last couple months have flown by so quickly. It doesn't really feel like December to me, so I'm not 
fully in the Christmas mood yet or feeling like it could possibly be Christmas next weekend already. So I'm just a little, I'm a little sad about that. So I think we're gonna try to watch some Christmas movies this weekend and see if I can get more into the Christmas spirit or feeling like it's Christmas more than it does now because it doesn't really it doesn't really feel like it's already Christmas so when I mean, we have our tree up we do a real tree so we went and got that um, the weekend after Thanksgiving and we have that up and had to get a new angel this year ours we had our first Christmas tree together in our house last year and our angel was ruined so we had to get a new one already <laughs> um but i like this one that we got i actually kind of like it better than the first one we had so you know that's that's nice so just kind of making sure this is blended in the crease a little bit before we add the next color i think these shimmers would be really pretty on top of this deep brown okay so that's kind of where we're at so far it's just on the lid packed on and then kind of blended in the crease and we're going to add so we're going to take a different you know kind of fluffy blending brush and I'm going to dip into unexpected which is the mid-tone shade in this row and I'm going to put that in the crease kind of on top of the brown that's already in the crease and then a little above it and just kind of start blending and adding that little bit of yellow because it's not you know it's not really looking or showing any like yellow at the moment just because that brown is rather dark and just kind of uh, not much yellow tone to it so we're adding a little bit of this yellow into the crease and just blending that brown out with it. Okay. Yeah, so the Christmas movies I watch every year. Might as well tell you since I brought it up. Also, the lighting, I'm hoping it's okay. It looks weird in the camera. The light outside, I have a little ring light, but then I use natural light the rest of the for the rest of it and, you know, I mainly use natural light basically and the lighting is just weird today. So I can't tell how this looks on camera if you can even see anything or if it looks really weird. Also my face is looking kind of red today. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully you guys can see. It doesn't look the best in my camera right now but hopefully hopefully it actually looks better than what I can tell um, yeah so Christmas movies we watch every year um, we always watch Elf <laughs> I love that movie it's just hilarious um, so we always watch Elf and then we also watch the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen um, I love those movies. I've been watching the new TV series. It's kind of fun. Um, yeah, that's it's kind of fun. It's I think it's kind of sad that like Charlie didn't take over as Santa because the previous movies always kind of made it seem like Charlie would take over as Santa because he loved it so much and everything. So that was upsetting to me that like. Charlie turned it down and didn't get to take over as Santa but anyways um so we watched those I don't watch the third one because I'm not a huge fan of the third one in that series it just was never that good to me but I haven't watched it in a long time so maybe I will watch the third one this year just because I honestly don't remember much about it because it's been so long um so we watched the Santa Claus movies, one and two specifically, and then Elf, and I also always watch like Home Alone one and two. I love those, although <laughs> I love those movies, but every year I just get more and more annoyed when I watch them. I'm just like, what terrible parents. I mean, honestly, but you know, 
that's besides the point. Um, okay, so that's kind of got a little bit of the mid-tone yellow blending in the crease and a little above the crease. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of features that like really pale, pastel -y yellow. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit of that on the edge of the other shade. Woo! These are so pigmented and I forget. And so that blended that really nice, but I might add a little bit of that mid-tone yellow back just because that pale yellow is so pigmented, it literally kind of just took away that other yellow tone. So it's like not even really that, really there, that yellow anymore. So you can't fully like really see the pastel. I'll probably end up using, well, I know I'll end up using this palette again and using that pastel as more of one of the main shades just so you can actually see it a little bit more than you can in this look but um you know we did use it it helped to blend the edge a little bit so we did use it it's just not a main shadow in this look you can't fully see it but we did use it just kind of going back and forth between my brushes and making sure everything is blended. And then kind of looking in my mirror, trying to make sure everything looks pretty even. I think that looks pretty good so we'll kind of leave it up that I think so kind of just a smoky yellowy brown look here but it's going to brighten back up with those shimmers so that's what's the fun part so we're going to take centerfold which is the gold in this yellow row do you see how much the sun is like keeps changing I don't even know what's going on and we're gonna take that and put it on the inner and outer corner and leave the middle open. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that. And I'm just barely tapping into it just to make sure I don't actually accidentally go too crazy here. It's a very pretty gold. It's kind of on the inner corner. And on the outer corner, leaving the center open. And we'll kind of leave it like that. I'm just taking a finger that doesn't have any product on and tapping this a little bit more to blend it a little bit better. Also just going in with my brush and kind of hitting the edge a little bit. Okay, seems a little messy today for some reason, but I'm sure it'll be okay by the end. I swear, I do not think this video is going to look very good because the lighting just looks so bad right now. I'm not, and I can't really do much about it, so I have to just kind of leave it and let it be. It's the problem when you rely on natural sunlight for your videos and like i said i have this little ring light but it doesn't really do much do not know what's happening today i apparently can't apply makeup today because this is looking terrible but we'll clean it up So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit just so that way it doesn't look as bad here. Just a little bit of makeup remover on a little cotton round and just kind of hitting the under eye area. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will go into our purple shade. So what I was thinking, so once I finish my base, um, the lower lash line I think 
I will put the lilac purple on the lower lash line and I want to use this more mid-tone level purple um, as the middle shade on the lid. So we have this kind of going on right now which this looks like I just have gold everywhere. I literally have no idea what happened. Something is just fighting against me today I guess. Doesn't want my makeup to look good today. Oh, oh well. So, hopefully we can get it to look decent. So the purple, so I'm gonna take that, which these are really pigmented. You don't have to dig in, go really light and just build up would be my recommendation. Um, and I'm just gonna pop that, kind of overlapping the yellow on both sides a little bit and then in the middle. Ooh, that purple is pretty, pretty, pretty. I always like yellow and purple together. I think it looks really pretty. So that's kind of why I wanted to incorporate this, these purples with these yellows because I thought it would look cute. So just kind of lightly tapping that on. I hope you guys can see when I zoom in later what that looks like, but it looks really pretty. And like, you're probably not going to be able to tell on the camera, but in person I can see like the little like green and yellow and pink and blue, like all the different little colors in the shadow. I can see it in person. It looks really pretty. So just kind of tapping the edges with a clean finger, just to make sure that gold and purple are meshing well, but they're flowing pretty good. They look really pretty next to each other. So yeah okay so we'll do the same on this side kind of just taking a little bit and this side might need more finesse because i don't know what happened but it looks terrible this side uh you know you don't always have a good makeup day even when you've been doing makeup for a long time you can still mess up i've been doing makeup on myself since 2015 I started so I was like 18 or so 18 19 is uh, years old is when I started getting into makeup and um, I feel like just in the last like two years I finally perfected how I really like my makeup to look like it took me that long um, but even still like I sub days where you go to do something and you're like well that looks terrible and today seems to possibly be one of those days, which is sad because I was really looking forward to this look. But I'm hoping I can save it. So, have that kind of packed on. It looks really pretty. You don't even really have to tap on the edges. It blended in really nicely on its own. So that's the look as of right now. I'm gonna go off and do my base and put mascara on. I will come back. We'll do the lower lash line in the inner corner and then I'll zoom in. Hopefully the lighting will be better by then. It, I'm hoping you'll be able to even see anything so far up until this point in the video. I don't have faith at the moment. Um, but yeah, I will come back. We'll finish the lower lash line in the inner corner and this will be the look. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I am back. I don't feel like the lighting is any better, so I don't know if you guys will really be able to see this look today, uh, which is really sad because I was really looking forward to this one. But anyway, so, oh well, let's finish it off. So the lower lash line, I'm going to put this lilac shimmer, which flips to like a gold. Um, I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line, so I'm just gonna take a little, hmm, oh, this one. Just like a little, um, it's called a short shader. This is from Luxie, the 223. And it's just really um, tiny, little flat type brush. And I'm just gonna kind of dip into the shade just really gently. I don't know how well it will pick up, so I might, you know, it might not apply very well on the lower lash. We're just gonna kind of pack it on first and then we can try and like swipe to do blending motions in a second. 
I tried to use this the other day in the inner corner and I did notice like for some reason the lilac purple wasn't coming through at all and all you could see was the gold. I don't know if maybe for this shade to be able to see the purple you have to like actually pack it on you know um, like the lid or what the deal is because now like just looking at my lower lash line once again like I'm not seeing the purple I'm just seeing the gold and I swatched these all my swatches um, for these pastel roses shades are on my Instagram and you could definitely see the purple in the swatches so I'm just wondering if in order to see the purple in it if it has to be like packed on because like I'm still not seeing it um as I'm applying it to the lower lash line so that kind of stinks because I was hoping to have like a pop of purple in the lower lash line as well but I'm not really seeing it I'm just seeing the gold flip so I will definitely have to use this shade like on the lid um, and apply it like normal shimmer and see if the purple comes through a little bit better just because right now I'm not really seeing the purple even if I kind of like turn my head yeah I'm not seeing it very much I'm just kind of seeing the gold oh my um yeah so that stinks i was hoping to oh my goodness it's my baby <laughs> i was hoping to have a little bit of purple on the lower lash line but i'm gonna take this same shade and put it on the inner corner as well just because it's light enough and um the gold from the all done up palette by blend bunny that gold is um too dark for an inner corner highlight for me so we'll just put this. Yeah, I mean, it still just looks, it still is just the gold flip. I can't see the lilac purple at all. I'll have to use this shade as a main shimmer on the lid and see if that will let it come through better. Because, like, in a swatch, like, I'll swatch it right now. In a swatch, like, you can see the purple. This is the swatch. Hopefully it'll focus here in a second. But like, even without the camera fully focusing on it very well. There it goes. Like you can see the purple. And then it's got that gold like flip and reflect to it. But you can see the purple for sure in the swatch so I think you just have to actually like pack on the lid to be able to see it I'll swatch the other purple that I used on the lid um, as well so this is a little bit of a deeper purple base and then I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera um, on the eye but like if I turn my head and look at that eye that's not really like in focus over here like I can see all the different colors in this holo purple shade so there's like green and red and yellow and pink and blue and it's really pretty but so this is it swatch next to um, the lilac so this is that holo shade so I don't know if I can when I turn it if you can see the other shades really well but there's definitely like all kinds of different glitter reflex in it and it's really pretty but anyways so this is the finished look I'll zoom in so you can see it and I'll list all of the shades and everything I use down below as well um, like all their individual names and stuff but this is the look so we had the dark shade um, let me look uh, doe-eyed all packed on the lid and a little in the crease and then we used um, Unexpected to kind of blend it out. And then we used a little bit of Features to blend Unexpected. And then the gold is Centerfold. That's what's on the inner and outer corners. And then the Pastel Roses shade is what's in the middle and on the lower lash line. But again, it just looks like the gold in the inner corner. 
I'm not seeing like the lilac shade in it at all. So we'll have to play with that one like actually packed on the lid to see. It has a really strong gold flip so that's why I'm wondering why you can't see the lilac. But yeah, this is the look. I'm hoping like when I look this way, like on this eye, I can see all the different colors and reflex, but there's all kinds of different specks in it, like red and pink and blue and gold and green. And it's really, it's a really pretty shade. I'll list the name of it down below. I don't remember it right now off the top of my head, but this is the look. I hope you guys like it. I would love if you know, you want to recreate it at all, even if you don't have these exact same shades, just anything similar. Let me take these out of my hair. Um, it's a little dense in my hair now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun filming this look, and I think it looks really pretty, and it came together in the end, even though I was kind of messing up <laughs> and not apparently able to do my makeup today in the beginning, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week for another video. Thanks. Bye.